Hello, I'm Chris from Chris and Acrylic Pouring based in the UK and this is the dried version of the painting you're going to be seeing created today. It's the centre swipe with balloon kissing. Today I'm using a 40 by 65 centimetre canvas which is roughly a 16 inch by 26 inches. I've just put down my base coat. It was slightly thick today but um, I persevered. Now I'm doing a centre swipe and usually I do the swipe in the middle then add paint to the edges and blow it out with my mouth. I'm trying something different today. I'm adding the um, paint at the edges of the centre swipe first and I'm going to use a hairdryer to blow them out. Last time I did this I did the swipe and then blow, blew out the edges with a hairdryer and it disturbed the swipe paint so this time I'm doing the edges first. So I'm laying down extra base as well, so there's loads of um, paint down for the blown out edges to glide over. I'm going to be adding the base paint down at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to use the hairdryer to blow out the um, paint. Now, the paint was, like I said, slightly thick, but I got some really beautiful lacing and shapes. Um, I don't know if it was an improvement over using my mouth, um, but it was fun to do. Now that I've blown out all the edges, I'm going to start adding the paint for the centre swipe. I'm using iri iridescent blue-green, Prussian blue, iridescent orange, Naples yellow, um, phthalo blue and Payne's grey. I'm going to be swiping with white acrylic paint today, which has got silicon in it. I'm laying it in four places along the canvas, a bit of overkill. I wanted to make sure that the um, paint lasted the whole of the colours. I'm swiping with a damp paper towel, and I do this in a very controlled, slow movement. Once I swiped, I'm going to use the um, torch to help bring out some of the um, cells. Okay, so here is the painting um, with the edges blown out and the centre swiped. There's some beautiful cells appearing in the middle. Um, I'm going to leave this for half an hour um, before I do my balloon kissing because you need the paint to be relatively dry. So I left the painting for half an hour and I'm going to start doing my balloon kissing. Now I realised I'd left it slightly too wrong and it was drying out rather quickly. So I tried um, some balloon kisses first but I realised they weren't working as well I want, as I wanted. So I decided that I needed to do, start doing balloon rolls. So I was adding extra paint onto the canvas and rolling the balloon into it. The painting took quite a lot of work to get it to a state where I was happy with, so I didn't film the whole process because it would have taken, it took a long time. But this gives you the basic principles of how um, a balloon roll works when I'm doing it. Okay, here's the final painting after I wrestled with it, doing all my balloon rolls, but I must say I'm really pleased. So this painting's still wet. Where you can see ridges, they will dry flat. The colour's absolutely beautiful and the lacing I'm really pleased with. Um, it, was a real, it was a real struggle to get to this stage, but the um, final outcome is worth it. When I was doing my balloon rolls, um, it gave me a chance to look at the composition of the painting and the colours, and I realised I had a bit too much orange in there. The orange was meant to be more of a kind of um, pop colour. So when I was doing a lot of my rolls, I used just the phalo blue and the iridescent blue-green um, to bring out the um, shapes and colours and just to remove some of the oranges. The Naples yellow I only used in small amounts and it just adds a few highlights in various places which I do think look really lovely. Here is the dried version of the um, painting and it looks absolutely stunning. The iridescent um, blues and oranges really work well together and the hints of the Naples yellows just lift the 
the colours. The lacing at the edges looks beautiful. I don't know whether using a hairdryer on my mouth works best, but other than painting this size, using the hairdryer saved me a lot of puff. Absolutely love it. The bloom rolls give a really dynamic nature to this painting and all the colours pop against each other. I'm adding it to my series of Corolla paintings. It's not yet named but I'm sure I'll come up with something. I do hope you've enjoyed this instruction video and um, it's been lovely chatting to you. Speak to you soon. Bye.